Hey guys, it's me, Jenny B, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. I am not sure if this is going to be our last episode or next to last episode. I don't know, depending on how this goes, but last time we left off, Meg got attacked, and we don't even know what's going on. She's in the hospital. Her parents haven't left us a message. Um, so right now we're Bia, and we're just walking around. I am so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. Who's there? Oh, I forgot. We were at freaking Greg and Angus's house. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. He'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. And the cops? We called. They don't care. That's it? Sir, you say you saw a man outside. Sir, that's not illegal. Getting dark earlier. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Oh, he's saying that to himself, I'm guessing. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And, yeah. Maybe lasagna. Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. And no more than anyone else. So, that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump. Yep. Were those guys... Like that guy? Yep. Sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? I don't know! He's freaking out. He's having a little making you freak out. Google it. I'm sure you'll be able to find the answer. Okay, well. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm Wait, everybody shut up. I think someone's coming. I hear footsteps. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. There's someone standing outside the door, you guys. What? Everyone, be very quiet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, am I... Am I May now? Oh, I can't even jump. I can't do anything but this. No! I can't do anything but this sad little walk. Okay. So I'm May now. I guess uh, we'll be back with Bia later. No worries about Bia right now. She'll be fine. She doesn't seem like she's in trouble at all. She seems like she can handle everything on her own. Where am I going? Why do those poles look like little penises sticking out of the ground? Why is everything so glowy and ashy and feathery? We look like we're gonna vomit. Are we gonna puke? I have no idea. I feel like houses should be here, but there are no houses. Is this my street? But I just can't see the houses? Has the apocalypse hit? I don't really know. Did I just die? 
I'm not sure how relevant that part was. That looked like something or somebody. I don't know. Can I be in the hospital now? Oh, I'm in the church. God is here in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And, and she loved to hear about them. She, I'm sorry. Is he crying? It can be difficult. Anyone else? Always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. Oh, geez, Summers. Geez, your life. I didn't know how tough your life was until now. And I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Sama. Very lovely. Everyone, give her, give her a hand. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowskis have always been a menace, and I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Why are you even here, old crocodile man? Sometimes folks in this wrong place at a wrong time. Oh, sometimes folks is in a wrong place at a wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down the end central, center ave. And someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at, and May fell, and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. If see if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. And the whole room just changed. What happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah. Supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, at least ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. Did we take her to the hospital finally? Is she not at the church anymore? How the house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey. Everything. She really must have hit her head or something. I don't know what's going on right now. Are we going to be taken to another room? Quite possibly. We are home. Can I get up? Ugh. I can. I can get up. I would like to go back inside. I want to talk to mom. I want to talk to my mom. 
Okay. So we're just gonna walk down the street. And, um, see where that takes us. I really miss my ability to jump. At least everything's back. Everything's back. Where am I? Am I going to Greg's? I'm going to Greg's, right? Please tell me I'm going to Greg's. Oh my god. Be uh... Oh my god. May? How did she even leave? Holy shit, it's May! It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lie down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No. The sound is good. Yeah. Sound is good. When you're not feeling good, you just like want other things to distract you from you not feeling good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah. And all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. So that's who was shuffling out the door? It was May? I sure hope she's alright. Mm hmm. Both of you. Shh. Oh, you know when you're like taking a nap and you're so tired, but people are doing stuff around you, and sometimes you wake up to certain things? This is probably what's going on with May. She's like, she keeps waking up. And falling back asleep and waking up, and this is what she's waking up to. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, Bia. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! Oh, I'm awake enough for pizza. Oh, maybe not. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Oh, I had this dream. I don't think I'm... I think I'm pretty nauseous right now. I don't know. Like a vision. Or I time-traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us half to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. Well, we'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. Bia is there? Bia is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bia drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. I love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. What? What is she trying to say? What do I know? You want a brownie? I, I kind of do in real life. Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, 
I had puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. <laughs> Just a little bit, Angus. For at least, for the moment at least. Okay, can't talk to Angus right now. Hey, Greg. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this. I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, and we should hang out more. Well, you're ghost, so you have all the time in the world. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf. Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. Where's Bia? I want to talk to Bia. Can I just bounce? Nope, guess not. Hey, Bia! How's it going, babe? Gotta stand in front of her. Gotta walk all the way to the other side. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's like the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? Gonna like wander around the apartment. I think I talked to everybody. Cool. I'll be right out. And I can't really like <clears throat> get anywhere. With, like, me walking so slow. Hey, kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. See ya, germ. Or worm. Germ. Bye, germ. Uh huh. How cute. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then. I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now. And I was playing this video game. You were like dating ghosts or something. Okay. <laughs> and I was really into it. I played it like 24 7. Until this one afternoon, and suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And their lines were just some things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either, and it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people, and this whole thing we had, it, it, it was just me, alone. And like that realization, like, jumped out of the screen and into real life, went outside, and the tree out front, I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing, just a thing that was there, growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes. Like, just like this moving bulk of, of stuff. And I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow. <clears throat> That's actually really deep. 
That's kind of like what really it is. It's just a bunch of atoms. Just a bunch of tiny little atoms that make up all the stuff around us. And atoms really are just like these tiny little shape things. Anyway, that's... Huh. And the next day was that softball game. And Annie was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my God, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? Yeah, because this sounds a little bit apathetic. After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh, God. He's the worst. He made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would be help. It would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda. Sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a few places, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founders of something. A real shitty statue, like, all rusted metal. And it was these shapes. And it was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I, I didn't leave my dorm room. I didn't eat. Or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine, where I knew everyone. It wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like... I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other dozen things he does and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and, like, I don't know what you're going through. It exists. I, I thought when I came home... I just, I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this, and, 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 shh, it's going to be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. We're all going to make it. You should get some sleep. I... <laughs> She's got her eyes closed. Cigarette's still lit. Is that how we all sleep? That can't be safe. I'm thinking she's snoring. But, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Come on, mate. I don't think we should bounce. I don't think we should bounce. I think we're bouncing. Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. What are we about to do right now? Are we going to go up to the water tower? Where are we going? I'm not even controlling her. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Never mind. Just kidding, you guys. 
Oh. Oh. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Someone just shot him! Oh my god! Greg just shot him! Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ugh, you shot me! And we could all use both our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa. Jeez, Bia. Ah, ah. Is he a werewolf? Why is he going to ooh at the end? Are you okay? Where did... What are... What are... Where did... What are... Where did... Where did... What are... Um... I'm thinking she's going to say, what are you guys doing here? Or where did you come from? You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? I had a, I had a dream. This is all because of me. I, I, I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. And it was because of me. Oh, you had a dream. Is that how we're making decisions now? After all that's happened, yeah? I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Hey, kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. No, but... No, but... Oh, shut up. Would you let me do this? Oh, that's cheating, putting it that way. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. And for damn sure I'm not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <coughs> <coughs> Sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounds like he went back up to the mine. Yeah. What do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. You all wait here, I'll go. No, they should all go together. They should all go together. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad we were all thinking the same thing. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk, May? I I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. Yes. Something really stupid. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, lock it shut or something. Ah, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. I have to go down in there. I have to go down in there. Well, then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Um, uh, kind of nervous, actually. Why am I leaving the pack? I think Greg should be because he has the, the archer set. Well, isn't this dangerous or anything? <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. 
I hear her crying slash whispering. Still, it's, I still hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's because it's so soft. It's so super soft. It's like, <sighs> something like that. I don't even know. It sounds like a, it sounds like heavy breathing. It's probably Bia breathing down my neck. Bia, stop it. Stop breathing down my neck, Bia. All right, what are we going to do from here? Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's going to hear us coming a mile away. Sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. Why are we following Maze? Why are we doing this? She needs help. We need to get a therapist quickly, immediately. A psychiatrist. Unless she got bit by a werewolf and she's legit turning into a werewolf and then there's actually something really going on in her head. Oof. That thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you, sh are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Oh, it is so loud, just like you said it would be. Well, we're here. Where we are. I don't know what he said. <coughs> she sounds sick. May, are you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I I'm fine. It's just... Like, it's like something huge on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh! I heard something down there. You're going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, I still hear the <laughs> breathing. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> yeah, he knows we're here for sure. Like, how could he not? That elevator was so loud. I don't like where we are. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Can they even see? I guess they're being led by be a cigarette. That's semi kind of lit. This does not look safe. This doesn't look safe at all. Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. Like, and like junk. Oh God, oh God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh God. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's, it's through there. <gasps> through there? Oh May, geez. Oh, May, jeez. Mm -hmm. I can't see anything but the Instagram. Oh, I can't even see that anymore. I can see it. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're five times scarier than you. Oh, 
Oh, there's a lot of them. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Edie. You'll do no such thing. It's out of our hands now. He shot me. Did it say we're even? Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah. Sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait. Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Then... Then... Why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um... Okay, so we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason, and he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much to say in whatever. Wait, so you think that Edie... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's... He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, oh God. I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it 20 years back or so after the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vess Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, this old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper ban and shoot long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds his place, and Jim wrecks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. What brought you down here? What? What is it? What does this have to do with you or me or anyone? I want to know what it is. Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to do? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. The government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, 
got an answer back. Oh god, I think I know. Answers. Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? One's it take to a shining two. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came to. Still, a few of us left from back then. Picked first time. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who believed you and me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here and went in the, not in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? There. Feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. What is down in that hole? Is it like freaking with some tremors? Like those giant worms under the earth? Is that what it is? Just a giant worm? Just eating? Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh God. Oh no. How many people have died down here? Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids gone up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. Oh my god. They got rid of May's, like, best friend back then. Like, their friend, who they used to hang out with all the time. You kill Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know, he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. It's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey? You want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor. Oh, God. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared about him more when they came to this. Which one of you did it? G Greg. He was my friend. All right, now. Throw it down right now or I will shoot. Hey. <laughs> What if I can get you first? Bolt sticking right in your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I, I, throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. Alright, I think... I think I'm in that here, you guys. On that note, um, I've been playing for almost about 50 minutes now, and I'm feeling it's probably going to go on for a little bit more. And I think this is a good spot. This is a good spot, I think. A nice little cliffhanger. Um, this is crazy. We finally found out what she did in middle school. She beat a poor middle schooler with a bat because she literally couldn't recognize 
between reality and sheep. She literally did not think this living person was an actual living person, which is mind blowing to me. There's something seriously wrong with me. Like, I didn't know who was that serious. So, on that note, we're going to end that here. Um, next episode will be the last episode to Night in the Woods, the final episode. Episode 14, I'm guessing. I think this is 13. This will be 14. So, I really hope you guys stay tuned to that episode because it will be the final episode, the end, and hopefully we'll have all of the answers we've been looking for. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys later.